Hello! In this video, we will review the Animation Bank window. The Anim Bank is a list of animations belonging to a character. In this example, all of these animations belong to my wolf character. Here you can see that I have the name of the character. And if I want to change the character to view a different character's animations in my scene, then I would use the drop-down menu. The animations are displayed on their own layer. And you can see that the eye icon on the right displays on the layer that you are currently working on. You can right click on the animation layers to access any of these actions for selecting, expanding, and collapsing things here in the anim bank. You can see that the selected animation also displays here. The first button in the anim bank window is for creating new animations. When you create a new animation, the start key is created by default with your character in its ref pose. The start keyframe belongs to the all layer in your mixer that contains all of the joints and targets of your character. So you can see that if I put the little hammer icon on, all of the joints and IKs of that character are displayed in this layer, which are available for me in my first key. <clears throat> the second button is for duplicating the selected animation. The third and fourth button, sorry, the, yes, the third and fourth buttons are for importing and exporting animations. The animation file types are called Akinum files or AKNM files and it is the Akitsu's proprietary import and export file format. This format is only available in the Anim Bank. So when you export FBXs, then you export FBXs only through the main menu. And for only exporting animations, you would do it through these two buttons. So if you go into your export preferences, all of these preferences are only for FBX exporting. Akinum allows you to preserve animation layers when exporting and importing, so it's a good way for you to store and back up your animations while you are working. Akinum export works only according to selected animations in the Anim Bank, so if you wanted to only export one animation, then you would select it and export it through here, and that would create one Akinum file. If you wanted to export several animations, you could name it and you would also only get one Akinum file, but it would save all of your animations in its different layers in that file. Akinum exported animations may be imported onto other characters if they share quite similar skeletons in the global structure with similar joint orientations. They do not need to be strictly identical though, so they could be very similar in orientations and amount of joints, uh, but not identical. And you also need to have a similar ref pose between the two characters uh, when exporting and importing onto another character. At the moment, for Akinum files to be able to be imported onto a different character though, you do need to have the same joint names, otherwise it wouldn't work. Uh, but a new feature will arrive soon in Akitsu that will allow you to match skeletons with different joint names. Now here the fifth button is for creating a new folder which you can then name and put anim the animation layers into. You could also put folders within folders. Like so.
And this fifth or the last button here is for deleting animations. So you can select any animation and delete it with this button. When you have a delete button in any window, it is the only way to delete the concerned elements of that window. And if you press the delete key on your keyboard, that will delete the selected object that is in your tree. So for deleting animations, strictly through here. For deleting keys, it's strictly through your stacker. For deleting layers, strictly through your mixer. And that is the animation bank window.